All right, what's up, RGLTV? How you guys doing? Uh, we're going to start off the CV block. We've been waiting for it all week, uh, all us Castlevania fans. I'm here with uh, Legend of Zelda, our LOZ Cards fan. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good here. It's great to see four of the top 12 runners here in this exciting race in Retrothon. We've got the world record holder, and we've got the second place holder, and we've got two others that are in the top 12. This is going to be a lit race here. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a good one. We got JC, Two Snake, uh, Retro Gaming, twenty eighty four, and Freeland seventeen eighty seven. It is definitely gonna be a good one. We're gonna get started here pretty shortly. And uh, don't don't you guys forget, uh, we uh, have uh, a bunch more Castlevania coming after this. Uh, CV two, CV three. Um, you know, just check out the schedule. There's a lot going on uh, for CV block. It's gonna be great. Oh, absolutely. A lot of good Castlevania games coming your way here. And, of course, we have JC, the world record holder in uh, Castlevania 2 as well. And uh, he's going to be doing not one, not two, but three Castlevania games in a row here. Yeah, he's uh, he's got quite the uh, list set up for him. Uh, he's got Simon's Quest coming up next, and then uh, TV3, I'm not sure which category he's doing. I don't know. I don't know if he's he might be doing Grant, but uh, yeah, he's he's got uh, you know a lot uh, to do. So, but at least the other ones aren't races. He can kind of you know calm down after this and kind of get in the groove of just doing a regular run. Oh, no question about it. This is going to be a very exciting race, and I'll be interested to see if any or all of our runners can get that lucky clock drop to start things off in stage one because that's a significant time savings in the run here. I mean, this game in the last couple of years, Apotic, has been very optimized. We're getting pretty close to the nitty-gritty. I'm thinking, because we both have 1127 on a two-snake and JC side of the board, but I think people speculate they can get it down to as low as 1125. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think even a human task was put out, right? It got down even lower than that. A human theory task. I'm not sure, though, but I think it was like... 11.23 or 22 maybe, last time I checked. But uh, maybe some of that it wasn't viable and they went back and changed it. Right, but um, I'd like to see if some of these runners, maybe, who knows, maybe all these runners get a sub-12 tonight, but it's all going to come down to execution and who can get lucky with uh, tricks like, again, getting the clock on stage one and getting the crits on Dracula. It's going to be a very exciting race. I think any of these four runners could win tonight. And we have a uh, we have started. I, I don't know if JC started. It looks like with uh, or is my JC stream behind? Perhaps I don't, I'm not too sure. But the others are uh, moving on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, JC got a bad start there. I don't know. <laughs> I think he was having too much fun in chat. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> But watch now, watch JC come from behind and win the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it he's looks just like giving Freeland, these runners a head. Freeland has got the uh, early stopwatch. Yep. So if he can get the trick, he can gain an advantage on the other three runners here. But remember, it is a frame perfect trip. He has to stop the watch right as he comes through the door, right as the screen begins for him. If he does it too late, it won't work. And Nope. He didn't go for it, which is fine, but then he also tried to manipulate a stopwatch drop, which seems weird since you already have the stopwatch. Oh, and Freeland that. misses the boost. He gets over the second time, so two snake and retro gaming uh, pull out ahead. Right now, JC just coming through the door. And uh, the players are making their way to the bat. Uh, no crit for two snake, crit for retro gaming, so he's going to take the lead. Excellent work there. JC doing a swag reverse boost there. Uh, there is no game music because uh, JC had let the uh, the uh, demo video play uh, a few times, and that uh, causes the music glitch, which does not play until you get to about right here to the back. So we'll have some game music coming right now. Oh yeah, I always enjoy doing that one. I used to speed run this game myself. So yeah, you'd uh, let the demo run so long that you'd get the no music glitch, and then when you get to the bad fight, the music would reappear again. Yeah, you yeah. If you play, let it, the demo play more than twice, 
you know, or at least twice and in, in on it uh, stops playing the music on stage one. A little neat, a uh, little trick there, a little glitch. So here we go. Uh, Retro game is still out front, but uh, Two Snake is not too far behind. He's just a couple of seconds behind. They both get the uh, Medusa boost to get to the top there. And uh, with the stopwatch, you can now uh, pause those crushers. So that's why having the stopwatch is very important, not just to get the uh, the beginning uh, stopwatch to freeze the knights, but also for this crusher. It saves on a couple of seconds. If you didn't have the stopwatch, you'd have to do some kind of a manipulation to uh, get through the crushers without losing too much time but it is faster if you do have that stopwatch yeah you probably lose about two to three seconds maybe because yeah there's a there's a uh, a buffer strat you can do where you just pause for a second and then you whip and then you, you can walk right through but you would definitely lose uh you know two seconds or so the streams are not out of sync uh jc started late yes indeed but it looks like it's going to be Retro Gaming 2084 with the lead, but Two Snake right behind, and Freeland just getting started with the Medusa fight, and she is down. So, very close race between these three. JC's still going to have some work to do, but a lot of game left here as we get to, in my opinion, what is the toughest stage of the game, stage three. Uh, yeah, Two Snake didn't start his timer, guys, but there we do have a retro bot uh, in Discord, which the, the players are using uh, for official timing. So, even though he didn't start the timer, that's okay. Uh, you know, they'll still have a method of timing out via uh, RetroBot. Two Snake so and first. Retro Gaming getting that uh, Fleeman boost here. Freel and also getting it. Uh, yeah, they are coming through uh, level three here. Uh, stage seven through nine is always uh, j just a real uh, technical uh, execution er uh, area, and it is pretty, pretty scary. For me, uh, my personal opinion it is the uh, this is the worst level in in the game to speed run it's just a lot can go wrong so a lot of tight execution a lot of the rng that you have to manipulate especially with that skeleton that flies off the staircase there and sometimes he won't fly off and you get hit by one of his bones there to, and you take some damage so yeah a lot of execution and a lot of rng manipulation it's a very tough stage runs are easily lost here uh not sure what happened to two snake i mean um jc i think maybe his stream uh, is down or uh something let me check discord maybe there's some information there but it looks like uh two snake has pulled out ahead because he's just gotten through there very cleanly and he gets very a potion cleanly. drop for the home stretch What these runners are going to be doing now against the mummies here is they want to have the mummies converge and with their cross, at least a double shot. I mean, you can do it with the single shot, but it's much easier with the double shot. Hit them right as they're together and they will be killed instantly. Unfortunately, Two Stake messed up just a little bit and because of that, Retro Game is going to retake the lead. Yeah, and I will say before we started, JC was having some internet issues. Uh, it did drop once or twice. So hopefully uh, it just comes back and he's still running. Uh, that would be uh, you know, good. Uh, hopefully it uh, works out for him all right. And you see the players dropping down here. They're going to go for the uh, cave skip. They're setting it up with a three whip buffer there. So they can uh, just pretty much uh, walk straight the whole time without stopping. And then it's all about that uh, when you stop that merman uh, above that candle. They both get it. Easy peasy. Excellent. Yep, they got the manipulation correct. They have boost off the bat to get out of the water area and into the mountain. We call it the mountain skip or the cave skip there, and it takes about six seconds. And uh, Freetland also getting it. Excellent. Yep. Got the boost perfectly right there. So here's another screen where runs can come to die here, this uh, Eagle and Fleeman hallway here in uh, stage 11, because these guys tend to drop random axes, but with manipulation, uh, you can get around the uh, off chance that an axe will drop. Uh, yeah, this uh, area of Fleeman Alley here, uh, and I and RGL, all three have a little bit of history tied in together. Oh, a nice uh, axe drop skip uh, by Freeland there. But uh, during the first uh, Castlevania One Night Only tournament, uh, you know, I was uh, playing against uh, Furious Paul, and I, I got an axe, and it, uh, it all went on tilt from there. <laughs> yep, because without that holy water, this Frankenstein fight can get really difficult. And, uh... These players are going to make easy work of Frankenstein with the holy water, keeping the stun lock, just whipping, and uh, it's no problem. But that's why you definitely don't want to get that axe. 
Now, while the holy water is important on this stage, it is equally important coming up in stage five because death awaits as the boss. And most people who have run it before, whether speedrunning or playing it casually, know how difficult death is. And runners will, of course, cheese death by using at least a double shot holy water to take him down. But even then, you can still run into some problems because to do it quickly requires tight execution. And they are pretty neck and neck right now between Toothnake and Retro Gaming 2084 and Freeland not too far behind, uh, right right on their tails. And uh, it looks like they both got about the same bone boost. You can get a quick bone, a slow bone, you know, there. So it could have changed a little bit, but pretty neck and neck here. And right now, Freeland currently in third place, but he's only a good Dracula fight away from taking this down. I mean, if uh, Two Snake and Retro Gaming can't get a clean Dracula fight here, and I look mean, at the look at the sink here. Right the sink is crazy. It's like uh, literally like .02 seconds off or something. Yeah, Retro Gaming literally frames ahead of Two Snake, but these two have been back and forth the entire race so far. I can't wait to see the finish. This is uh, going pretty pretty tight right now between Two Snake and. Uh, retro gaming and uh, like uh, cards fan is saying you know Freeland he, he, although he's behind I mean Dracula uh, is really the gatekeeper here I mean a lot can a, a lot of seconds can be lost uh, just uh, on Dracula alone so or as Freeland likes to call him Count Dracula Yeah, and uh, it looks like JC's internet is out right now, so that, that is really sad for JC. I know he was uh, really excited for this race, and uh, he's been sitting here working with us all day, getting set up and everything. So that, that, that really sucks for JC. Well, hopefully it comes back soon and he can at least do his uh, CB2, CB3 uh, runs. Oh, absolutely, because he's an extremely established runner of all the Castlevania games on NES, so hopefully his internet does come back to life soon. But here comes a very critical part of this uh, run here, is the death fight for all three of these runners. Because again, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty easy, but it is also pretty easy to mess up the uh, fight. Let's find out what happens. And they both go for the quick kill, where you jump up and finish them off, and they both get it. So still pretty much in sync here, going into the last stage. All right, it's up to Freela now to see if he can get the clean fight here. Let's find out. Uh, I think he missed a jump there, and uh, he had to throw like two uh, an extra holy water, maybe it seemed like. Uh, but he uh, did not go for the quick kill. But he only, he only gained about I think a point point four or something over, over the normal kind of kill there. So it's still like right behind. Here comes the bat bridge, which is everybody's nemesis the first time they play this game because they go every way, which way but loose, but they always tend to chase after you, and those fireballs like to home in on you. Yeah, but once you uh, once you get into speedrunning the game, you know that you can uh, do this pretty much the same every time, except for Dave here. Sometimes Dave the bat, the last bat there, uh, named Dave by Indy Swede, uh, he, he'll, uh, you know, he doesn't like to always play nice, but both players get through all right, and uh, Dave gives them a pass. Now players will hope for no bone party here. Neither one gets one, so still moving on. Absolutely. So they're about a second apart, and it, it really is going to come down to Dracula. It could even come down to Cookie Monster execution as well. You can see two snakes slightly ahead now. Holy smokes, that's amazing. Yeah, two snake taking the lead there. We're as, getting uh, neat. Yeah, that's the reason why, because um, Retro Gaming decided to go to the meet because it'll give uh, Retro Gaming extra chances to get a Dracula crit, whereas uh, Two Snake, he has one chance and one chance only. Is Two Snake going to go for the two side? No. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. Oh, he gets it. Three cycle incoming for Two Snake. Very nice. Getting that crit there. Excellent work. And, uh, that Retro is Gaming a very good track. Oh, okay. He had the extra health. I forgot uh, that he got the meat. That was going to be it for Retro Gaming. But he did get the meat, thankfully, so he will survive that. But this looks like it's going to go to Two Snake. There it is. Two Snake taking it home. So get your GGs out for the world record holder. Two Snake, he wins the race here at Retrothon. What is the official time? Uh, we'll have to check Discord for that. 
get your GGs out. Also, for retro gaming following, right behind a very good time put up by both of these runners. And also a very solid run for Freeland. Looks like he's going to finish in the 12 x range. Tuesday Two, comes in with a first place finish of an 11.52. Uh, retro gaming 2084 right behind with a 12 flat. And then uh, Freeland, not too far behind either, with a 12.16. So GG to everybody what a really really what a really good race between all the runners and uh you know once again um sucks for jc we, we really would have liked to have him uh you know put up a finish there and see how close he could have gotten as well fantastic run for those three runners and yeah again a, a real shame about jc because again he's the former world record holder in this game and he definitely knows his castlevania he he knows the ropes and he definitely would have made a great race between these other three competitors but it is what it is unfortunately yep and that is going to do it for the cv1 race here but like i said stick around uh give us a few minutes it might we might have to work it out with jc being the next runner that was on the list guys so uh we're gonna get together and try to see what uh what's going on and uh just hang tight we'll figure something out we got uh plenty of uh, cv runners here and, and whatnot you know we'll have to, we'll cover if necessary but hopefully we can get jc in uh, back in time to do his uh, his runs and things. And I do see him in chat. He just dot done in uh, Retrobot. So I, I think he's just uh, still running. Uh, but his stream never came back, perhaps. I'm not sure. But JC did finish with a uh, 1329. But also, you got to remember that he uh, came back late. Or he started late. And then he probably had a bunch of stuff going on where he was trying to mess with things when his internet went out. So uh, still a 13, 29 with all that went wrong there and then starting late, that's still a good time for JC. So GG to JC, but don't forget Two Snake with the victory, taking it home just like he has the world record right now. And make sure you give all four of these runners a follow because they are tremendous speedrunners in their own right and excellent at the Castlevania series. So please make sure you do give these four a follow. And uh, thanks to uh, Cards Fan for joining me uh, on, on commentary here. My pleasure. And uh, stick around, guys. Like I said, more CV to come. And, of course, uh, way later, uh, closing the CV block, I'll be back playing Symphony of Night. So I hope, hopefully I uh, see all of y'all in and uh, just hang out and, uh, you know, take it easy, chat, like, like you always do. Best of luck to you in that run, by the way. Thank you. You bet. We'll be right back. <laughs>